Today we're going to be unboxing, testing in a multitude of categories, and reviewing the Fafine Ampli Game A8, a plug-and-play USB condenser microphone that with three VST plugins in about five minutes sounds like this. Peter Piper pickled a pepper. I'm on Pickle Patrol, Patricia. This is a place of business, not a madhouse, and I will not be the ringleader of this circus. Blind CC the manager? Send. Those capacitive buttons are sensitive. If you're in the market for an entry-level USB microphone that doesn't sound like crap, stay tuned and find out if this chunk of plastic belongs on your boom arm. A quick disclaimer, this microphone was sent for review, but this is going to be an honest, comprehensive review. So if there's any cons, shortcomings, or areas of improvement, you're going to hear about it. And by giving honest reviews, these companies update their products with revisions, and we get better goods over time. At least that's how it's supposed to work. As for the packaging and included accessories, we're not off to a good start here as we have an exposed box and she is in rough condition. This is how the box was delivered on my front porch. As you can see, this is the actual shipping label. There's no outer box. This is not the fault of Fafine as this was logistically handled by Amazon. They are the company that shipped this product to me. And hopefully the product within the box is not damaged, but come on now, girl. What is this? Other than the condition of the box, I want to talk about some very wonky marketing. The specific version or product is smaller than the company or brand. So think of it like the back of your car says Honda, Civic, or Toyota, Corolla. It's almost like they're trying to rebrand themselves as Ampli Game when they're for fine. And this is their product, the Ampli Game. This version, which is the black model, is $48 on Amazon, or for $50, you can get a white version. Now keep in mind, this is a brand new unit. This isn't refurbished or used or anything like that. So it's just kind of set in here loose. All right, now that makes me feel much, much better. There's a little piece of foam here at the bottom, which keeps it in place. You're gonna have your instruction manual, pamphlet or brochure, and a box with your accessories. By accessories, you have the standardized adapter for mounting to a boom arm, which I do strongly recommend you do versus using the desk mount. While a desk mount will work in a pinch or a clutch, you're gonna get much better audio quality using a boom arm because the microphone's closer to your mouth, away from sound sources like your clicking keyboard or controller, and you can take advantage of what's called the proximity effect of your microphone, giving you that radio-esque broadcaster voice. You do also have a USB-C cable. This is 10 foot. It is not microfiber or braided. It is just rubber. It does have a plastic dust cap on the USB-A side. It is branded with Fafine on each side, as well as a Velcro tie back, which is one of the ones that stays connected. I like that. As for the desk mount, it's very interesting. It is plastic, which feels a little bit cheap and chintzy. However, the base feels pretty good. It has a nice rubberized grip on it and has a good weight down low. So you feel like this thing's pretty stable. As you see it jiggling around, that is because it does have an included shock mount, which does seem to do a pretty good job of absorbing vibration when you actually accidentally hit your desk. And you have an included and pre-installed pot filter with the little Fafine smiley face logo. In the bottom of the microphone, you do have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack if you want to monitor yourself in real time. And you have the USB-C port, which, well, you need that to use this thing. This microphone feels like it weighs virtually nothing because it is entirely plastic and also very thin, cheap plastic. It feels like I'm holding air right now. And this is with the adapter installed as well. 242 grams, 8.5 ounces. How lovely that they don't include an adapter. This will be linked in the description below. So this is the out-of-the-box sound profile with the Fafine microphone on a boom arm, and I'd have to say it sounds pretty darn Fafine. But we're going to make it sound a whole heck of a lot better. BRB. Quam, bam, thank you, ma'am. If you're wondering what black magic trickery or technological voodoo I did, worked on this microphone, I do have a guide linked in the description below showing you how to take virtually any microphone, even a cheap stinker, and make it sound good enough to where you can live stream, podcast, or YouTube. The first step is to rotate in a counterclockwise or lefty loosey method to the left and go ahead and place the default stock bipod or tripod in the trash. As this microphone is plug and play, as soon as you plug it in, it's ready to play, meaning it will automatically default your computer's output, so it's speakers, to the headphone jack on the microphone and the input to be the microphone itself. But if it didn't do that for you, in the bottom right of your screen, whether you're on Windows 10 or 11, you are gonna see a speaker icon, right click and open sound settings. Your output is what you're gonna hear, so your desktop speakers or headphones, and inputs, that's listening devices, we're gonna come down here and select Fafine Microphone, if it wasn't already by default. And you might notice that these two volumes 
volumes are different values. This is 28, this is 50. This is the volume of your speakers, what you're hearing, and this is the sensitivity of the capsule or receiver of your microphone. Now out of the box, most USB microphones are gonna be way too high or too hot. This one was the same, it was at 77, I tapered it back to 50. Then I set the volume gain knob on the body of the microphone to 50 or it's halfway mark. Then in your broadcasting or screen recording software, so in this case, I'm using OBS, go to your settings, come to the audio tab, desktop audio, select whatever you're listening to your computer sounds out of, so your headset, and this is gonna have the audio for your game, your music applications, your buddies in Discord, etc. And then your voice is gonna be over here in mic slash auxiliary audio, select microphone, fine mic, click apply and hit okay. I would leave this volume slider for your mic at 100% and adjust from inside windows, which I showed you earlier, and the physical gain knob on the microphone. Plus, since we're running a compressor on this microphone, it's amplifying or boosting our quiet sounds. So maybe you're whispering because you're listening for footsteps in a game like Escape from Tarkov, you're still gonna be clearly heard. And most importantly, when you get loud, maybe you're yelling or raging, you're not blowing out the eardrums of headphone listeners. And if you crank that knob to the right, you get that highly compressed Radio S presence, which is kind of nice as well. By balancing these three volume levels, you will make sure that your voice is picked up, but you're not clipping or peaking. As for physical controls of the microphone, it's not advertised on the box, and I think it really should be because this is a great feature or selling point of this microphone. It has capacitive touch buttons for mute as well as controlling the RGB lighting. So you do not get a loud audible pop or click every time you press a physical button to mute your microphone. You just press your finger against a pressure sensitive button mutes the microphone as you saw there. You do also have a capacitive touch button on the back for RGB control. Tapping it will scroll through the different lighting modes and you're getting three lighting modes that can show a total of nine colors, but that is enough selection. You can probably match the theme of your setup or pick your favorite color. And if you don't like it, a long press of the RGB button will turn it off completely. I actually like it though. But what's most important about a microphone is how it sounds. How is the audio profile? We're gonna run some tests right now. <laughs> test. Test. The first test is gonna be the semblance test which is those harsh S's. Sandy sells seashells down by the seashore and also sells her sentimental secrets to scumbum, scallywags, and sailors. Next, we're gonna check the resistance of plosives. So how does it reject those harsh P's? This mic is about four inches away from my mouth with the stock pot filter installed. Peter Piper pickled a pepper. I'm on Pickle Patrol, Patricia. In Call of Duty, my gun goes pitter patter, pitter patter, pit pat pow. Peter Pan plundered his pastrami and some sweet pudding. Next up, we're gonna test the proximity effect. Like I mentioned, about four inches away. This is right up against the pop filter. This is with my lips grinding against that metal. This is about one foot away from the microphone. This is about three feet from the microphone. This is about six feet from the microphone. And this is down the street at my neighbor Jerry's house. Okay, we're gonna do a little typing test to see how this microphone rejects noise from a mechanical keyboard from the rear. Because you streamers are gonna be clickety clacking on those noisy tactile switches. We'll also click on a couple controllers with back buttons as well. See what those paddles be clicking like. Whoever has been leaving Dukes, whoever has been leaving Res Residua. Whoever's been leaving human residue near the water fountain needs to cease and desist immediately before getting slapped across the schmeckle. This is a place of business, not a madhouse, and I will not be the ringleader of this circus. Blind CC the manager, send. I'm coming, I'm coming, hold on. I grabbed three popular custom controllers from the wall in the front room. Let's test the noise on these bad boys. This is an AIM V3, clickety clacking on those back paddles while I talk into the microphone. That's loud. There's no denying it. I, I see the bar jumping up and down on my OBS. Alrighty, scuff reflex. Substantially quieter. I don't need an audio technician to come in here and tell me that. And for our Xbox brethren, Team Lime Green, I didn't forget about you, the Microsoft Elite 2. By the way, I just made a video on the Elite 3 if you're interested in that controller, check it out. Okay, clickety clacking on those metal back paddles. Not very loud at all. Picking up my voice more than it is the clicks. Plus keep in mind, you'd have the game sound. My buddies talking crap in Discord. Maybe a little music from Pandora or Spotify. You wouldn't even think about those clicks. Now let's test the off axis noise rejection. This is the top of the microphone. This is the top of the microphone. This is off to the left of the microphone. The left of the microphone. This is the right side of the microphone. This is the right side. And this is the Tukus rumper rear end of the microphone. How is the noise rejection? Now I'm gonna purposely be a klutz and bang my desk. Let's pretend that I smack my elbow against the, the corner of this L-shaped desk here. Maybe I'm swinging around to grab a swig of some brain buff, which is delicious. Discount in the description below. And I shatter my lucky elbow and bang my desk. How much noise rejection is hap- Wow, look at how wiggly that microphone microphone is. That's good. That's a good thing. That means that this shock mount is doing a tremendous job. How about handling noise when you're touching the body of the microphone, which you really have no need to do anyway. You pretend that you're a rock lord on stage, right? And you're cupping that mic. So you
Oops. I hit both the capacitive mute and change my RGB color. Those capacitive buttons are sensitive. But you gotta touch the microphone, you gotta rub her down, lather her in oil, test handling noise. I'm going to turn that down substantially in post-editing to not blow out your ear canals. As for the pros, con, and verdict of the Ampla Game A8 microphone from Fafine, we're going to start with the cons because there really isn't that many of them. First of all, getting it out of the way, you already know that stand belongs straight in the trash. I understand they need to include one because there are some customers that are going to want to use that desk stand. You're better off getting a cheap, generic, nameless boom arm off Amazon for $15, and I wish these microphone manufacturers could not include a desk stand and pass on that savings to us, the customers, by slightly cutting the cost of the microphone. Two, and this is such a simple fix for Fafine, with your future units that you send out, please include a 10-foot USB-C cable, not a 6-foot. 10-foot should be the absolute minimum, because a lot of users of this microphone are most likely going to route the cable around their desk. And if the included 6-foot cable is not enough for you, I have included in the description below a 10-foot universal USB extender, female on one end, male on the other, that will in essence extend your that will in essence extend your USB-C cable by 10-foot. The third and final con, which is the biggest in my opinion, is the fact that the little elbow or adapter which you need to adapt to a boom arm is entirely plastic and feels like it can fall apart at any minute. Not to mention they do include that elbow adapter you need to get on a boom arm, but not a little packer baggie with adapters for common boom arm sizes. Luckily, I had my own laying around, but in order to thread it onto this Elgato low profile or my blue compass, which I did mount it on as well, it needed an adapter that was not included, but it will be linked in the description below. Now onto the pros, the plosive rejection was absolutely phenomenal. In fact, that little $50 mic did better than my $400 Shure SM7 B does a lot of the time, even when I'm practicing proper mic etiquette using the included foam pop filter. I'm not saying this is a better mic than a Shure SM7B. Take it easy. But the plosive rejection with that included pop filter is fantastic. And the pop filter is also very low profile, meaning it's not going to take up much of your peripheral vision. So if you are doing some gaming, it's not going to be distracting. Cosmetically, I think the microphone looks fantastic. It's just flat matte black with that RGB lighting. It just glows through the mesh grill, and I think it looks fantastic. And if you don't like it, you can turn it off. The next pro is the capacitive touch buttons for the mute and RGB control because whenever you mute and unmute your mic, you won't get a loud pop or click. Plus, it's just kind of cool to be able to just tap your microphone and have it mute. And the final pro, I am blown away with the audio quality of this microphone. Considering it is a $50 or $48 if you get the black version, plug and play USB microphone, it sounded very good. In fact, when you look at the heavy compression that's applied to YouTube videos and especially live streams, plus you have additional background noise from your game or whatever content you're watching, maybe some background music, 8 out of 10 viewers slash listeners are going to be hard pressed to tell a difference between a thousand dollar mixer and XLR mic and a fifty dollar plug and play USB microphone when set up correctly and optimized with the settings in this video right here. Little plug for another video I'd like you to watch after this. I like this microphone so much that it is going to be getting used in my second setup, which is in the room over my shoulder, which is the beach theme guest room. And that is a much more budget oriented setup. So a mid end PC, not a high end, a USB webcam, not a professional photography camera, a USB mic, not an XLR, more budget lighting options, etc. And the Ampli Game A8 sounds good enough to where I feel confident using it. This microphone is linked in the description below if you want to check it out. I do strongly advise it, and I'll see you stallions tomorrow. Peace. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers. This information will reach and assist them as well, which in turn helps me grow this little channel, which I do greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover news in the gaming community and industry, tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing, as well as honest gaming product reviews, keyboards, mice, headsets, controllers, mics, chairs, etc. There are some hefty exclusive discount codes found only in the description of my videos and only for the audience here at Gamer Heaven. Check out Into the AM for some of the sickest looking and most comfortable cloth to ever grace my gaming giblets. If you don't want to be scorching your corneas with harmful blue light, check out Gamer Advantage, the only blue light glasses on the market that look sexy and actually work. If you're looking for a custom controller that'll blow the competition's tits back, AIM definitively has the best bang for buck or price to performance when it comes to Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch controllers. Nope, they don't do Switch, but they do do gaming mice. I said doo-doo. I have links to all my other platforms and socials in the description below. If you need a quick laugh or blast of gamer adrenaline, check my short form videos out at TikTok to get in touch with myself and the stallions and stallionettes of gamer heaven join the community discord and check me out at twitch.tv where i go live every other leap year on a blue moon if it falls into an odd calendar number and my ph balance is on point just kidding starting june i'm going to be live streaming a lot thanks for watching this has been ak40 kevin hosting gamer heaven and i'll see you tomorrow because i upload daily all the time 60 percent of the time sometimes most of the time peace